here. I'm looking for a place to stop and paint. So you can see how beautiful it is though. This is Lise Nielsen, Artist in the Woods. And I'm looking out at this beautiful view out here. I like these trees here. I love the grasses and then the ocean in the background. Such a peaceful, beautiful scene. It's high key, meaning that everything in the scene is very light. I think I'll just have fun with this study today. Happy to be here. I wanted to show you that I bring out my little um, composition booklet uh, that has uh, Edgar Payne's compositions in the different compositions to choose from that work out. Just looking through here. So you want a balance in an asymmetrical way. That makes sense. So here's, here's a steel yard. I could do something like that with this using the tree. If I had something to anchor it in over here, which I could choose any element out there. Here's the L. This is more what I was thinking of. So I'm gonna work with that uh, a little bit and see what I can come up with it with my sketchbook. I'm just working on a panel that I um, primed. Cheapest way you could go. <laughs> In line. I'm staying away from the middle points. I'm not turning my canvas. Uh, and where the ocean rocks can start to be drawn in here. Staying away from that. I'm going to cross over that middle area there. There's more rocks down in here. You can see when you don't tone the canvas. It's a very different surface and you have to add more paint in to it. So I'll handle this as a shape. And then shape. And I was gonna go over the middle line, but I don't think I will. I think I'll allow more at the sky to see it again. And I'll have some clouds. I have a nice little cloud line in here. Um, try to get that back in and it. If there's an element that changes quickly, you want to just draw it in and remember it. Just use your visual memory there. So a lot of horizontal lines in this. So I'm just drawing the, the important elements and then I can, the grasses and things like that, I can add in later as I paint. But just getting my anchor elements down, what I consider the anchor elements. Or I know it creates my map helps me know where I'm going with it. There's a feeling of a path. There is a little path here, but um, I don't, it's not really about a path, but I don't mind drawing that in. You can see it's pretty easy to draw in and then let your paint do the rest of it. There's some dark, um, I want to make sure I know where my dark pattern is going behind here with the tree. I won't put everything in. There's a right in here. Use that to guide the eye. I'm using walnut oil for my medium today and my wash. Just mixing up some darks here so I can Get the tree and the shadows in. So just thinking of shapes right now. I'm handling these rocks as all a part of the same animal. Okay, now the tree shadows. And then under here there are shadows. Um, there are lighter areas on top.
This is a dying or dead pine tree, so it's got a lot of character. So we had a little rain this out, uh, this morning, and um, but it's turning out to be a really nice day out here. Kind of a warm, uh, foggy look to the sky, and I'm trying to emulate that. I'm just going to go behind this tree, so I just want to get some of this in here. It has to read light enough, so I'll probably have to go back in and make it lighter. It kind of mixes with the blue up in there. But if this is too dark right in here, it's not going to allow for the ocean to read right, so I want to get that in. So ocean color is mix of blue and reddish tones, usually even in the distance. And then it changes. You can see where the light hits it. It's definitely lighter in there, but it, and it looks like where the light hits it, it's uh, warmer. So as in, you can see yellow in it. Certainly not one color out there. And then it gets a clearer blue as it comes forward with a tiny bit of green. So there is wave action in here, but I want to get this in here and then I'll put my waves over it. And there's a splash up in here. Something like that. Now let's have some fun with the greens. Very light down in here as uh, the light is hitting the grasses. I'm going to put some of that in so that um, I can work the darks kind of around it. Here again, it's not all one color, but you kind of need to get a blocking done to work with. So I'm working off the back of my car. It works really well this way. I can use, a sh use the back as a shelf and pr protection from the sun as well. side of the grasses and then it's lighter on top.
Myself, that these are just studies and they don't have to be perfect and they don't have to be finished. And this changed, it all changed in the sky, so I don't really, I think these were kind of cloud like up here. the grasses are light enough. They are the ground plane. To the point where I'm putting a little bit of detail into it now.
Okay, so I'm just adding the last details. Um, I put some of the flowers in. I'll add a little more detail to those. And I'm doing more detail on the tree right now. Just trying to add a little more color into that. composition actually because of the tree and it's definitely the L. I don't have to put much detail back here to make this work. This might be one I'll do a larger painting of. Pretty happy with it. Bye.